Okay, this is the Gaming Sound 100 here with the video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the the playoffs right now, as it is in the NFL right now. Um, if the season would end today, the playoff scenario would be as goes: the top four for the AFC, New England Patriots is the number one seed. Then it goes Pittsburgh Steelers, Kansas City Chiefs. Jacksonville Jaguars and the two wildcard teams are Baltimore and the New York Jets. In the NFC, you have the Atlanta Falcons with the number one seed. Then you got the Bears, the Eagles, and the Rams. And the wild cards are the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. So basically, uh, anything at this point right now. Um, the playoff pitcher is starting is not let clear quite yet. Um, all I know is is that Indianapolis, my second uh, my second favorite team other than the Bears. Um, Indy has a chance to for the Nets if they win their Nets three games. Indianapolis will win the division. If they will win their next three games, that's an automatic. They'll win the division automatically. They win their next three games. All right. The looks like San Diego, Miami, Oakland, and Texas and Houston's probably not going to make it into the postseason. So in the NFC, uh, it looks like that the Packers are probably not going to get in. Seattle or San Francisco ain't probably getting in. Or less, who knows in the NFC West and how that is going. It looks like that uh, that even a 79 or an 88 division winner is going to win the division, which is going to be kind of bad if they have a under 500 team in the in the playoffs. That'd be a little strange, but that's how the NFL has done it with this. So we'll see what happens. Um. As we all know, Atlanta has currently got the number one seed right now. Uh, they still have two more division games left. Um, they still have one more game against the New Orleans Saints. And, and basically, if the New Orleans Saints does win against Atlanta, then it could come down who's going to get the, the number one seed. So, whatever happens, happens. Um, as you all know about the Bears, all the Bears has to do is a win against Minnesota and a Packers loss to the Patriots. The Bears would get into the postseason. They'll win the division automatically with the win and a Packers loss because the Bears have, have a better division record than Green Bay right now. Green Bay is 4-2. In the actually you no, know, they're only three and two in the division right now, and the Bears are four and zero. Oh. So, if the Bears win against the Eagles and the Packers lose, the Bears will win the division because they'll be five up to three to two. So, the last game of the season for the Bears won't even matter for Green Bay. Cannot get into the Green Bay cannot possibly get into the playoffs. If they will lose next week and the Bears will win the division, the Bears will go into the playoffs automatically. So the only other key is either going to be between the Philadelphia Eagles or the New York Giants. Um, they play next Sunday. Um, it just depends on the New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles. As you all know, that the New York Giants beat the Bears. In the in the game in week four game, and y'all know the Bears beat the Eagles, and so if the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants um, would be tied for the division, then they go base it by by division record. And then they go based by conference. So 
It just depends on how the Bears do for the remainder three games. The Bears has a shot to finish at 12 and four and get a first first uh, round bye. They can even win the next two out of three and be able to try to get a first round bye in the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. Um, Tampa Bay is not going to get into the playoffs. The Packers, they're probably not going to get in. Because if the Packers is going to probably lose to New England. Because New England is tough to beat at home. So, so Green Bay Packers probably might be out. Um, it's going to be tough in NFC West. Like I said, whoever wins that division is going to probably either have a 7-9 or 8-8 eight eight record. That is sort of bad if that division finish up at 7-9 division winner gets into the playoffs and they host a wild card game. That would be messed up. The NFL should change a rule by even letting the wild card winner who has a better record to get the home let them get the home playoff game because they had a better record. But the NFL doesn't do that. So that's that's what I personally personally hate. They were saying this that they had this back and when they first started this thing in two thousand and two they were saying this on uh NFL uh was a show these on uh, uh not a show on uh, an HBO, but they show it on Showtime now the NFL show, and they said that they were going to have a, there were some sayings when they did this is that they could have an eight and eight division winner face up against a twelve and four wild card team, and that is sort of sort of bad that a team with more wins. Then the then the division winner. They'll get the home game because they're won the division, which I think they should change the rule only in that scenario. If they would the person has a better record, and if they will win the division, and if they don't have a better record than the other team, then the other team who had the better better record than the division winner, they should get the home playoff game. But they, but that's what the NFL started. There were some few complaints about that. Started back in 2002 when they first started, with the, with the, four, four team divisions. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to look very interesting. So all in us for us Bears fans, is that we gotta hope. That the Bears can secure the the wild card, not the wild card. The Bears can clinch the division at next week against Minnesota. If the Packers lose to New England and the Bears beat Minnesota, the Bears will win the division. They'll get a home playoff game, and they can get a first round bye if the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Bears are like tied at the end of the year. The Bears would get the tiebreaker over them because they already beat the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Bears would get the first round by. Or if it comes out to be the New York Giants, if they would win their division, the New York Giants will be the number two seed. The Bears will be the number three seed. And the Bears will get, the, will get a home playoff game in the wild card in the wild card round. So us Bears fans has got to hope is that the Philadelphia Eagles, if the Bears can concentrate on what they need to do is to win the division and try to get a first round bye. That will be good for the Bears to do if they can do that. That's what we need to hope for. So in closing, that the Bears has to have the Philadelphia Eagles win that division and the Bears if they would have a better record or even tie at least tie the the Philadelphia Eagles with the same record the Bears would get in and it, well Bears would get a first round bye because they hold the win over the Eagles but if it comes out as the Giants 
If the Giants win the division, then the Giants will get the second round by, get the first round by, and the Bears will host a home playoff game. So, so if this is the game is on 100. Um, you can leave a video response, leave in the comments, and I'll talk to you all later.